Let me emphasize that safety has always been the highest priority of this Secretary of Transportation and of the FAA. We have worked very hard over the last several years in light of some accidents that we had in 1994 to reach one goal, and that is no accidents. It's clear we have a lot more work to do. Until after it's through, you have to make some transmissions. <laughs> but given the environment out in the swamp there, with the mud and the water, particularly in the combination, it is very, very tough to figure out how we're going to get the, the aircraft out from that swamp. Late in the morning this morning, NTSB released the scene for the beginning of recovery and divers were going into the water out of the scene this afternoon. The engines were found. The right engine was closer to the central point where the, we believe the impact took place, the left engine somewhat farther away. And an encouraging note in terms of recovery of the flight data recorders, which for us is an enormously important element. Much of the wreckage that has been identified has blue paint on it. And the value jet uh, paint jobs are such that most of that is on the tail or toward the tail of the aircraft. Thus, we hope that that indicates that if those parts are the ones that we're finding, that the recorders, which are also located in the tails, will be found fairly quickly. My daughter has been on Value Jet fairly recently. I would go on Value Jet tomorrow. The water we've been finding is a minimum three to five feet deep, and the muck, I've been told by local residents in some areas, can be as far as 30 to 40 feet deep. So it, that, that's a definitely a problem. The visibility of the divers has been almost nil. Uh, the water is very uh, thick with silt. It's very murky. It's, it, they're not basically able to see, uh, I think one of them told me that he was not able to see more than an inch or two in front of uh, his face. It, the search is basically conducted by hand.